Good morning everyone and welcome back. We are into it. Today's an exciting day. It is the first day of mating or AI. Dad's currently doing one in this row here. So that is the last of the young herd. There were four of them on today. Put her at the front, just makes it a little bit easier. Come on girls, push her up. Right, done. So that's the young herd done. There's only four of them to do, there's only three numbers there. I, yeah, in my collars I had that last cow in this herd, I need to change it over. Uh, so there's five in the older group to find now. And all I do, because we don't have drafting or auto drafting, I just walk in front and find them. They usually come in the first row. It's either the first or the sort of couple of last because they stay in the yard getting ridden. Uh, 186, no. And it's pretty easy. I can walk along and I can see the whiteboard and the numbers up there. And there's nothing in this first row. Everyone does it differently at mating and this is just how we do it. Uh, we're a little bit unique because we mate as we milk. Whereas most people would get a tech in and they would have to draft their cows out. They'd be given a time slot, so the tech might be there at 10 o'clock. So they would have to draft their cows out, put them in the paddock, bring them back in for the tech at 10. But uh, it's, it's pretty good how we can just, uh, or it's actually really good how dad does it, and we can just do them as we milk them. Yeah, 155, that's one of them there. I think, is it? Yep, 155. Just the one, that's, uh, yeah, that's quite unusual. You should get a couple in the first couple of rows. However, the next thing is I'll come and write down that cow number there, 155. Come over to my mating plan and I'll look her up, 155. She will get Burton or Guardsman. Burton or Guardsman. I might give her Guardsman. Then I write down the bull. I'll just put guards. Then I'll wait till she has finished milking. Oh look, there must be a cow right there. I see one getting ridden. Number you. Hey. Put your ear forward. 59, yep, that's one of them. Uh, but yes, I'll wait till she gets milked out. So this row's getting milked out now. I need to put the cups on there. And then when they come back over to this side, well, AI are then on the way out, because then if they if they poo, they don't make a mess all over the cups, etc. How good's that though? Sun is Coming up, and it's actually going to be quite a nice day. I actually have two cows going today as well. I've got to remember to take their collars off and draft them out. They, sh well, Marty said put them in the yard at 9.30. So that's another thing I need to do. No, they're going to go from my place down there. However, almost about to swap the cups over, so I'll get this next straw ready. Guardsman, Guardsman, where is Guardsman? This Guardsman's a CRV bull, so I need to uh, get it is canister number six, goblet yellow. The good thing about CRV is that Liz actually wrote the little tabs on them. So it's that one. I accidentally took out the wrong straw before and, and thought it out number 59. And she was at the back of the yard there, that 59, and I know she was the cow that was going to get that straw. Well, she can have that straw, so I sort of pushed her around in here so Dad can just do her now. Since that one's done now, he's going to head off and swap these gates over for these cows to go down that way and go and shut his in. He'll just keep an eye on me too and sort of stay sort of around here. He won't come and help me milk, but I'll just shout out to him if I've got something coming that's on heat. Otherwise, I'll just draft them out and he can do them up the race there. There's only three more to find, and I'd say they'll probably come in near the end. A cow like this here, she is actually on my cull list, but she will be going to beef. I just don't like her udder whatsoever. Despite her udder, she's actually got quite good figures and, and milks quite well. So I guess you could say there's an argument maybe you could put a bull with a good uh, udder overall over her to try and improve it for her offspring, but I just don't think uh, 
I just don't think it's worth it and it's not a car I want to keep something out of or a replacement out of. And now that I'm mating the hitches, I can be quite stringent on what I want to keep. So I only want to keep replacements from the good cows and, and she's not one of them. I think I saw one of these cull cows come in this row, yes. There she is, number 122. I'll take this off. Steady on, girl. Won't be needing that anymore. I just remembered too, I've got to put a mark on them. You've got to mark the cattle when they go to the works so they know where they've come from. So I just go line across the hips, or red line across the hips like that. The reason she is going is she does have not the nicest udder. She's a really well conditioned cow, like she'd be a condition score of five at the moment. Uh, but she's putting that feed on her back rather than in the vat. So in her last herd test she's only doing 1.5 solids and a cow like this should be doing close to two I think. So she needs to go. She would have been a cull at some point. The way I see it is that she's eating feed and she's not really producing what she should be. And she can go, we can we can give that feed to these other cows that are being more efficient. It is a good year payout wise, but I, I still want to get rid of it. She's the one that had the real high cell count and the mastitis that we can't treat, so she needs to go. It's quite contagious. I've actually got to draft her out and milk her last. Otherwise there's a potential to contaminate and, and pass that on to other cows. All done, filled out their ASD form for those cull cows, for the truck driver. I need these scratchies. I'm gonna go and put these on the heifers today because we're gonna start AIing them tomorrow. Come on, up you go. Up you go. I'll just leave them here for the truck driver. They can sort them out. But for reference to the cow that had that bad udder before, she was doing 1.9, which isn't too bad. So a lot better than this one. Everything's all done on my way. Cows just went before. These need to be warmed up. So maybe I'll just leave them here like that and the sun can do it for me. I'm about halfway there and it looks like it is pouring down over there. Damn. I meant to chuck some old towels or some old rags in so if they were a little bit wet, I could brush them off before the sticker went on. All of a sudden bring a raincoat because when I left home the sun was out and it was, oh, it was sunny so <laughs> I guess I'll just wait it out. Just the spring that keeps giving, it, uh, it'll blow through, there is blue sky behind it but <laughs> the road's fairly wet. These heifers that have got these green dots on them, these are the ones that got a double shot of PG. Uh, yesterday they got their second shot and then the first one was, I think it was 10 days before. Uh, so those, sh well they should, most of them should come on over the next four to five days. We'll, well see we'll, you tomorrow morning. That was quite easy coming out here, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll bring the fence from there up there and around. Oh yeah. For the back. For bring them out here tomorrow. Yep. I, I should be around, but I'm, if I'm not, I'll make it easy for you, you know? Yeah, yeah no, that's cool. I, we should be down about, uh, yeah, 11, 11.30. Even if you text me before you're leaving, and then it gives me a bit of time, I'll be able to get a minute for you if I'm around. Yep. Yep, I'll text you when we're leaving. Yep. Cool. About 20 minutes? Yeah, half an hour. Yep. Okay. Awesome, thank you. That went sweet as, only took really sort of 
20 minutes to run them through and stick those on. They dried out pretty quickly in the sun too. It almost looks like there's another shower coming now. Uh, but yeah, but AI on them tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see how many's on. I think the tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's Friday. Is tomorrow Friday? I think it is. Uh, so Saturday will be the big day. That's when most of them should come on. So it'll be interesting to see how many we get this year. It's actually quite a still afternoon. Dad's over in the maize paddock over there. He's spraying out the permanent. There's three paddocks of that that need to be sprayed out a few days before this annual. But that's good. It means that the maize ground is finally getting closer to being ready. I've just come up and filled out the mating book. So, so far I only did uh, nine cows this morning, but I've done 20 all up. These are eight sex draws that I've been doing for about the last week, plus there are a few good cows yesterday that came on heat, so I thought oh, I might as well just wax straws in them. Uh, what's, what's a day in it? So, uh, so yeah, 20, that's almost 10%, or 10 more would be 10%. I've got a few on for the morning. One, two, three, four. Four so far, and quite a lot come through overnight. So that's all right. Uh, actually, they're all on the high-producing herd. Actually, they're all in the older cows. No young cows on yet. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we go tomorrow. Looking forward to mating the heifers again. It worked pretty well last year. So I have PG'd a, a few more. I think I did the top 22 last year, and this year I've done the top 30. Uh, thought might as well. I want to try and get good calves from good cows. I'll actually take this book back tonight and enter the, enter the bulls into minder and what cows they've gone on. Just the data comes through. But that will pretty much wrap it up guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time, see how many heifers are on.